Today, the topic I wanted to look at was um, a situation that often occurs in, in third-hand play when your partner leads a suit and you win it and sometimes it's right to carry on with that suit and sometimes it's right to switch to another suit. And I wanted to look at examples of different situations. So here's one where South is playing in three no trump after bidding one heart, two diamonds, two no trump, three no trump. For those of you who were watching who play um, strong no trump range, um, they would have bid this slightly differently. They would South would have opened one no trump and North raise, would raise it to three no trump. But however you get there, uh, West, your partner, leads the jack of spades and down comes dummy. And you can see a few things about dummy. I always like to think about what I think about that bidding. I can see that diamond suit is quite strong there. I can see my partner's got off to uh, quite a good lead, except there's the king, queen of spades in dummy, though I have the ace. And let's suppose declarer plays the queen and I beat that one with the ace. I've now got to think about whether I should return my partner suit or switch to another suit. And I've got the first poll of the evening, which is what having won the first trick with the ace of spades in this situation, what suit are you going to play back at trick two? So have a little think about it. And here comes the first of uh, the polls. And the question is, what suit should you play at trick two? <laughs> so let me end the poll and share the results with you. And 55% um, went for a spade with 26% going for a club and 19% going for a heart. So let's switch back and see what we think. Well, your partner has presumably led their best suit, the, and they've led the top of a sequence. So they've got a sequence headed by the Jack-10 or Jack-10-9 or something like that. And you've been able to beat the first trick with the ace here. And the question is, should you carry on in spades? And what's your strategy going to be? Well, I can see, apart from the spade suit, the other thing of interest in dummy is that diamond suit. And I can see that that's going to be a source of tricks for Declarer. But I'm going to try and do my best to stop Declarer um, making all those diamonds because I've got the ace. And I'm going to try and take the ace at the right moment to hold Declarer to as few diamonds as possible. But for that strategy to work, I've got to carry on in spades and knock out the king of spades so that declarer has no more entries to dummy so yes on this hand i think the right thing to do is to carry on in spades and i'm going to play the seven of spades your partner plays the eight that's apparently good enough to knock out the king but they, they don't play the king so they carry on with another spade and declarer wins a third trick and now let's suppose Declarer plays the King of Diamonds. And what I've got to do now, now that there are no entries to dummy outside of the diamond suit, is not take my ace. In fact, what I'm looking for from my partner is a signal about how many diamonds my partner started off with. So I'm going to let the first one go. And if my partner plays the two, that should be the start of a count signal indicating that they probably started with uh, three cards in the suit. If we think about the diamonds for a minute, North started with five. I had three, so that's eight. That means there are five between the West and the South hands, and they're probably divided three, two, one way or the other. Um, and if I believe that signal from my partner of the two of diamonds, it probably means they started with uh three cards in the suit with an odd number they would play a low card with um an even number they would play a high card there's one other possibility which is that that two of diamonds is a singleton and that actually would leave um declarer with 
four diamonds. And in that case, I couldn't stop the diamond suit from running. So if I trust my partner's signal, I'll let them win the first king. And when they play the second diamond, I will win that on the assumption that West started with three, Declare would have started with two. So I'll play my ace here. If I'm not sure that my partner knows how to signal, I would not win this one either. I would I would let them go with this. I can give away two tricks, but stop them making the rest of them. But if I trust my partner's signals, I will play the ace of diamonds at trick two. Um, and then I will shift to another suit. And on this auction, the fact that South opened one heart, it makes it more attractive for me to switch to a club. And I will lead the jack of clubs here. Uh, so my partner's able to beat the queen with the ace, and they're able to cash a spade. So that's one more trick. And I'll just bring up the rest of the hands at this point. You can see at this point, um, your partner's won that. They might try to play a club back. Um, and if you play the 10, that forces out the king. Declarer now has got four hearts to take, which they will take. But at the end, if you've kept your last club, it turns out on this hand that you can make one more trick and hold Declarer to seven tricks now. So this was a defense which perhaps you would have normally done anyway, um, but it was right to persevere with spades to knock out that entry to prevent Declarer having another entry to the north hand. Do interrupt me if you have any comments or questions. We've got a few of similar hands, but slightly different approaches. Here's one with the same auction. And again, your partner leads the jack of spades. Dummy looks quite similar. Um, and you beat the queen with your ace. And I've got uh, the second poll question, and it's the same as last time. What are you going to play now? You've just beaten the queen of spades with your ace. And the second poll question is, which suit are you going to lead at trick two? Okay, let's have a look at the results this time. And um, most of you have gone for a club this time, followed by a spade and a heart. And let's switch back and, and let's see what we think. Well, this hand looks very similar to the last one, but what's different is that you don't have the ace of diamonds anymore. So that diamond suit is ready to run. That is to say, either declare has got the queen of diamonds in their hand and they can take six tricks, or if declare decides to finesse, if your partner has the queen, it will be um, uh, finessable and declare will make can make those six diamonds so this time i don't think there's the same reason to carry on in spades because all that will happen if i play spades is declarer will win the king and they'll be able to take the diamond tricks and if we want to make any tricks we have to adopt an aggressive um, approach of trying to get them now before Declarer can rattle off all those diamonds. So again, based on the bidding, I think I'm going to switch to another suit this time and hope that we can take some club tricks before Declarer has a chance to make all those diamonds. So I'm going to switch to the uh, Jack of Clubs. And let me just bring up the four hands at this point. And you can see you've got one of the holdings that you were hoping for, which is that your partner's got some strength in clubs and you'll be able to take some club tricks. If I go back to this point, uh, one trick, and I click on the GIB button, you can see that if I don't need a club um, de and lead another suit, Declara can make two over tricks because Declara can make, as you can see, six diamonds and four hearts as well as one spade. So with all those tricks, your only chance is to make some tricks in clubs. So you lead into dummy's weakness, also to suit that the opponents haven't bid. You lead the jack of clubs. And if your partner, whatever your partner plays, you're going to carry on if that wins a trick, carry on with the 10. And 
you can carry on and trap declare as king there. There's nothing they can do about that. And you'll be able to make five tricks. After that, whatever you play, declare will get in and will be able to claim the rest. They've got all the rest of the tricks, but they'll be down one. Um, and really, your only chance here, um, once you see that really strong suit in dummy, is to try to grab any tricks you can uh, before Declare can take all those all those diamond tricks. So I switched to a club there because that was a suit Declare didn't bid. It could have worked out, but it was really your only hope to make some tricks there. Doing trap okay. me. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know for certain that he's going to be able to run his diamonds because uh, because South's bid two no trumps. He has to have a balanced hand. He has to have two diamonds. You got three. North has got as dumb has got six, so West yeah. can only have two. That's right. That's, that's a one. very, very accurate perception. That's right. Yes. Very, very good. Yes. Your your um and even if um it obviously declarer doesn't necessarily know how the diamonds are. If they didn't have the queen, they would try the um uh, probably try the finesse, and the finesse would work if your partner had the queen, or even if they played for the drop. Uh, the the queen would would drop if your partner had it. But yes, if you trust your partner, uh, declare as bidding. They've got at least two diamonds, um, and so uh, the, the diamonds it's going to run. So yeah, that's a, that's a good uh, uh, a good observation. Thank you. Let's try another one. Now, Tony. Yep. On the first hand. Yep. Was it correct to take the your ace the first trick? Should you maybe have kept it and? used it on the queen maybe well you you used it on on the to, to beat the queen this is the first you took it you took it on the first one but yeah. maybe should you not maybe wait well um i think you i think you need to take it um so the the computer is saying i've just clicked on this the computer is saying that you can defeat it by two tricks if you take that right um, if if you don't take it yes um well well, if you don't take it, what declare will do is play the diamonds, and then if you if you stop hold up in with the ace of diamonds, they 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 might then try to get to dummy with the king of spades, and then you could take it. So that would no no they wouldn't because you'd still have your ace. Yeah, that's right. So so you'd stop them getting to to dummy. So yeah, it yeah. it would work as well. Although according to the computer, you can make one more trick. Yeah. Okay. You take your ace. I was just wondering when how you decide whether to take your ace or not. You know? Yes. Okay. Well, uh I yeah, there, there are lots of possibilities, but I think in either case it it work it works yeah. whether you okay. let the first one go yeah, thank you. or not. But thank you for that question. Let's try another one. This time North opens one diamond, South bids one no trump, and it's passed out. And um your partner here leads the seven of spades now the seven of spades is presumably their best suit and presumably they've led their fourth highest spade against a uh, no trump contract and uh i think it makes makes it very likely that they've got the queen so if if declarer plays low from dummy i'm not going to play the ace i'm going to play the jack and let's suppose you do play the jack and let's suppose that wins the trick and the question is now, what are you going to play at trick two? What, which suit are you going to play back having won the jack of spades? I'll have a little think about it. Results. And uh, majority went for a heart, 48%, with 29% going for a club and 23% going for a spade. So let's have a little think about this. Um, <clears throat> first of all, uh, I'm not keen on returning a spade here because that will give a trick to Declara. Declara's got the king in dummy, um, but I've got the ace. And what I'm hoping that is to do is to save my ace to take the king, to prevent them making a trick there. The other thing on this hand is... I can see that long suit in dummy. And again, I'm in a position to stop that suit from running uh, with my ace by taking it at the right moment. 
But for that to be an effective strategy, I also have to try to knock out any entries to dummy. And the only entries they have, apart from the King of Spades, which I think I've got the ace to stop that being an entry, is the ace of hearts. So a good strategy on this hand, having won the Jack of Spades, is now to play a heart. And the main goal of that is to try to knock out the ace of hearts so that there's no more entries um, after, uh, after that's gone. Declarer won't be able to get to dummy to run the diamonds. Um, it could work out to, to play a club here, although on this particular bidding sequence, one diamond, one no trump, if South is bidding correctly, they will not have a four-card major. They won't have a four-card heart suit or a four-card spade suit. They also probably don't have much of a fit in diamonds. Um, so they've probably got no more than three diamonds, three hearts, and three spades. And if they have any length, it's likely to be in clubs. So I think a heart switch is the right one here. And what you're hoping for is that Declarer doesn't have the king of hearts. So in other words, if I bring up the four hands, if I switch to a heart here, and if my partner has um, the king, they can... Uh, I can allow me to win it. They've made an encouraging signal there with a seven, so I'm going to carry on with another heart, uh, and that knocks out the ace. And now, when Declarer plays the diamonds, I'm going to, just like last time, uh, duck the first round. This time, my partner played the six, which looks like it might be a highish card. If it is, and they started with two, Declarer started with three, so I'm going to let the second one go too. But if they play a third diamond, of course, I have to win that. And having won that, I'm going to go back to hearts, which seemed to be like a good uh, do well before. So I'm gonna, we're going to take two more hearts. OK, and there we've taken five tricks. Now, my partner is on lead and they might well decide to play a, um, uh, a spade. But let's suppose instead they play a club. OK, and if Declarer lets that one go, because Declarer is hoping they carry on in clubs and they'll be able to take the last clubs. Now, if my partner goes back to spades, they can actually trap the king of spades and we can make actually five tricks and hold Declarer to five tricks, going down uh, two tricks in one no trump. And... The, it was a, a difficult strategy to, to implement, but basically we needed to keep our ace of spades to stop the king from winning and to try to knock out any entries here. And here the only entry was the ace of hearts. And uh, that was a winning strategy because it held declarer to as few diamonds as possible. They just made two diamonds there. Any comments on that one? Do let me know if you have any questions. Let's try another one. Um, and this time, South has opened a week two. West, your partner doubled for takeout, but North bid four spades, and that ended the auction. I don't know if you were thinking of bidding something there, but um, here they are in four spades. And your partner here leads the king of clubs. And again, we got to have a little think about where we might be making our tricks here. And it looks like we've got two clubs coming our way. My partner presumably has got the a sequence of uh, king, queen of clubs. So we've got two clubs there. Looks like I'm going to make my king of spades as well, because that's well uh, positioned. Um, and where else can I make tricks? Well, the only other place is in diamonds. So if my partner plays the king, I'm going to start off by signaling encouragement on that to say, yes, I would like you to carry on in that suit. And if they carry on with the queen, I need to overtake this one. I need to overtake this so that I can lead a diamond. There are various situations, um, for example, where it will be better for me to lead a diamond than for my partner to lead a diamond because I'll be leading into dummy's weakness. So what I'm going to do is overtake that one and switch, of course, to a diamond. It looks like the only place we can make any tricks. Um, 
Unfortunately, Declara has the ace here and they play it. However, my partner plays the 10, which looks like it might be encouraging. Um, and now Declara goes about um, trying to draw trumps. But when they play the queen of spades, you would not be surprised that your partner discards and Declara wins that one with the ace. So there's no point letting you in with the king of spades. Let's bring up the four hands at this point. And we can see the situation that we have one more diamond coming our way, which is my partner's king of diamonds. Um, and Declare actually does best not to draw any more trumps, because if they try to force up my king, uh, I'll get in and they'll we'll be able to take a diamond. Instead, they might just try to see if they can get away with cashing their hearts. OK, trying to discard their playing to discard their diamonds on the hearts here. but. On this one, if they play the queen, it gives me a chance to get in, rough that one, and play a diamond back to my partner's king. And played that way, we can actually hold Declare to, to nine tricks on that one. So the key thing is recognizing that weakness in dummy, that, that the eight and five, and that you're the one who has to, uh, it works much better if you win the second club so that you can lead a diamond. If you leave your partner on lead, with the, after taking two clubs, then there's nothing they can do. If they lead a diamond, they're leading into dummies, into Declarer's ace queen of diamonds, and you won't make any more tricks in diamonds. And uh, let's try this uh, this one here. Um, this was one which was relatively simple, but um, only about half the people defeated three no trump. So it goes two no trump, three clubs, stamen, three diamonds, three no trump. And your partner leads the six of diamonds. And um, it looks like they've got off to a good lead. And again, you've got the queen of diamonds trapped in dummy. And assuming your partner's led their fourth highest from their best suit, they presumably have the king of diamonds. So if a low diamond is played from dummy, you play the jack. And if that wins the trick, I've got another poll for you here, which is what are you going to play at trick two? You've just won the Jack of Diamonds. And the question is, what are you going to play at trick two? A spade, a heart, the Ace of Diamonds, a Five of Diamonds, or a club? Let's have a look at the uh, results. And about 46% uh, went for the Ace of Diamonds, 25% went for the Five of Diamonds, others played a spade or a heart. And uh, let's have a look at it. In fact, let's look at the four hands. Um, and you pretty much know that your partner has led their best suit, and presumably they have the king. And if you correctly win the first trick with the jack, the defense to uh, the the best defense to defeat this contract is now to uh, play the ace of diamonds. It turns out on this hand, you can also defeat the contract if you play a spade or a heart because declarer doesn't have enough tricks to make uh, three no trump. But the best uh, thing to play is the ace of diamonds. You know your partner's got the king over there, so you play the ace, lead a diamond back to your partner's king, and they're able to make the fourth trick with their diamond. Later on, Declara now will uh, get back in and will be able to take the spades and take the hearts, but at some point, they will, um, they will have to lead the clubs and their best bet is to try the club finesse that loses here. So you will get in and defeat the contract with your king of clubs. So played that way, Declare can only make eight tricks. And as I said, when this hand was played, um, about half the declarers made three no trump here, which it shouldn't really make um, if East West defend correctly. I hope you can see that after taking your jack of diamonds, if you play a low diamond, that's bad because your partner will win the king, but you'll win trick three with your ace. And then 
you won't be able to get to your partner's fourth time. So let's finally have a look at one last one. And this one, when this one was played, uh, most people played it in four hearts and um, no one managed to defeat four hearts. So let's see if we can do better. Your partner here leads the king of diamonds. And what you have to do is have a little think about how many tricks you're going to make in each suit. Where are your tricks going to come from? We can see we're going to make a spade and we can see we're going to make a diamond. Um, but where else are we going to make tricks? And what you need to do is when they lead the king of diamonds and the ten of play, ten is played from dummy, I've got the final poll of the evening, which is what are you going to play? Are you going to play the ace or are you going to play a low diamond? And obviously, if you play your ace, you're going to think about what you're then going to play at trip two. But the question is, the last poll of the evening, what are you going to play on the king of diamonds? Okay, let's uh, share the results. And most of you have gone for the ace of diamonds, 70%, with others perhaps trying to give an encouraging signal with a six of diamonds or the four of diamonds. Well, it's no use giving an encouraging signal because you can see there was only a singleton in, of diamond in dummy. So you're only ever going to make one diamond. And it's important for you to overtake this one so that you can lead a club. There are various situations where it will help for you to lead a club rather than your partner to lead a club. Obviously, if they had the king and queen, for example, uh, your partner, it wouldn't matter who led the club. But if if they're not divided like that, it will often be much better for you to lead a club than to let your partner, leading into dummy's weakness. So I'm going to lead the jack of clubs. The ace is played, unfortunately, but my partner plays the eight. So that looks like maybe they were encouraging in uh, in clubs. So let's see what happens next. Declara now starts drawing trumps and they play another round of trumps. Uh, they play a diamond, which they're going to rough, and they lead a spade. And this is a moment I was waiting for. I think I'm going to go up with my ace here because I don't want to risk them, you know, winning a trick with the, the jack or, or something like that. I'm going to go up with my ace so that I can lead back a club. Remember, my partner encouraged me earlier on, so I'm going to play another club and declare has got the queen but your partner's got the king and uh they can now carry on in clubs and i can actually win another trick with my nine of clubs after that uh declare can rough and claim the rest but they will be held to to nine tricks and again i hope you can see that your partner made the normal lead of the king of diamonds there but if you let them win that then if they lead clubs, it's just not as good because they'll be leading into the ace queen. Much better for you to gain the lead so that you can lead a club and lead into dummies weakness. As I said, when this hand was played, um, no one defeated four hearts because Declara was able to, um, after drawing trumps, play off the spades and they were able to discard twice on those uh, spades. So they ended up making four hearts, but it should be defeated with the right defense. Anyone have any comments or questions on that? So well done, those of you who got that right. Um, but do think about um, third hand play. And very often, if you if you win in this position with a dummy on your right, it's very often a good idea to lead into dummy's weakness. It will trap any honours that are in the south hand if your partner happens to have a higher honour then. Any qu questions on that? If not, I'll end the talk there and I'll just ask if there's anyone who